Totongo, stuff that we get told by the police officers at the operational level and how there's interference by people above them, it does not all go well. It actually makes people not feel very confident in their own jobs. So, you see, unfortunately, this should, this should also be taken note by our development partners. Our development partners like Australia, New Zealand, other development partners should actually take note of what is happening in Fiji. We have always said there needs to be solutions. We're not here to just simply criticize. What we are saying is that, please, re-look re at your economic policies. Please, re-look at the cost of the issue. In the same way, I, I paid a compliment to Siti Bani Rambuka. When Linda Tambuya made a statement regarding the reduction in certain welfare payments, but Rambuka reversed that decision, I said it was a good thing. He did the right thing as a Prime Minister. So we are here to say there are certain solutions. Unfortunately, people like perhaps Siti Bani Rambuka is more more liable or more prone to listen to good, you know, good advice. But people like Biman and Mano, unfortunately, they bury their heads in the sand. All they do is come back with a response that, oh, this did not happen during, uh, this happened during their time. Please find solutions. People want jobs. Young people want to stay in country. We've got people going, working in the correction services in New Zealand. There are bus drivers leaving, there are accountants leaving, managers leaving. People going, you know, away for long periods of time. And those statistics regarding the number of Fijians that have left Fiji. Don't just look at the official migration statistics. There are people who are going on short-term visas. They go there in the hope of getting work there. There are people who, for example, are going as students in the hope of getting work there. So they may leave and tick the box of going, going as a student, but actually going there to work and do a particular course that they can get work in Fiji. So what will happen to the human resource capital in Fiji? Not a single new infrastructure development has taken place. Last time I made a comment, I don't think Biman understood it. He said, oh, does he want us to stop the bridges halfway? No. What I was saying is the current infrastructure that's taking place was initiated by Fiji First. That's fine. We don't want to say we're going to keep on harping on about it. But my point was not that we started it. My point was, what are the new ones? What are the new ones you're doing? Four laning of the road between Nandi and Latoka is a must. Nandi and Latoka is like Suva Nasori. You need a four lane road. But it's been stopped. Why? Because we announced it. Please explore Nandi to Suva through Viti Levu. It will help the landowners who currently don't make use of the land. It will make more land accessible so people can have access to housing, affordable housing. It improves the, the actual overall economic capacity of the country. There are many such things that we can give examples of, but unfortunately, we have the side distractions. And it does not all go well. It does not all go well in terms of the general population in Fiji when people see this sort of, you know, shenanigans that's going on. Overseas investors also get a bit hesitant. And I'm sure our development partners are also looking at this. And they should take heed of this. Because we simply cannot have the blurring of the lines between independent institutions.